Welcome, welcome to my kingdom. Welcome, Prince Uche. Oh. Welcome, my friends. Hmm. You're welcome, our dear August visit. Okay. The prince doesn't seem to be happy. I think he's happy, definitely happy. Come on, he's a prince. He doesn't need to flash his teeth like a tout. Is he? It's all right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Your Majesty. We are happy to be here. You're welcome. All right, so, shall we go inside? Come. Once more, I welcome the Prince of Umezemazi Kingdom. I welcome you to the Kingdom of Umozume my kingdom. I take it that you know why you're here. And without any waste of time, I invite the queen to summon my daughter to come and bid welcome to her husband mm. to be. Igwe. I feel so much like Cinderella. You remember when the clock rang at 12 and the prince was around the corner, the nook and cranny of the town, looking for her the next day to find who owned the shoe that was left at the palace. I feel like my prince is here to look for me. <laughs> <laughs> you understand the story, right? <laughs> my goodness, I feel loved already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Hmm. Easy! My sunshine. Oh. My all and all. Mom. My angel. Oh, mom. Hmm. What's going on? You look gorgeous already. I know, mom. Um, <laughs> your father, the king, hmm. has sent for you to come and welcome our august visitor. He's here? Yes. I, I hope you are ready. Mom, I was born ready. Good. Always ready. Good. <laughs> you, Adese, you will be in front. I will be directly behind you. Two other maidens behind me. I have one in front to guide me and two behind to guide me, Mom. What do you think? That's my job. <laughs> um, oh, one, gosh. One more thing. Yes, Mom. 
the, the prince doesn't seem to be happy. So I want you to put more effort, at least to make him smile at the sight of you. Is that it? Yes. Mother, have you seen the daughter you gave birth to? <laughs> have you seen me take a walk, mother? I look like the Queen of England. I know what you Mother, no mean. man born of a woman will see a beautiful face as mine and not smile. It is not possible. <coughs> I know what you can do. I know what you can do. It what is, is it not possible? Yes. Okay? okay. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Mom. I'm waiting for you. I'll be right there. Good. And why were you? Why were you? We were choking, we choked to death. Which? <laughs> and as for you, you smile so much. You don't join the train. Tell Orochi she will go with us. You stay back you here. With us, you stay back here and smile to the boss. <laughs> go back. Back! It's not tight enough. Back! Your Majesty, my Princess. <laughs> my my Prince, you you are welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, my friends. Um, <clears throat> my name is Princess Oma, the ever gorgeous, beautiful Princess Oma, the one you you have come to see. Oh, you? Yes, me. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome to my humble abode, peaceful abode. You are welcome. I see. Um, you see, is that all you have to say? I mean, am I not um, beautiful enough? <laughs> um, is, is anyone disputing your beauty? Oh. No, of course. No one can dispute that. But, you know, I was expecting you to say more. Like, I am elegant, beautiful, outstanding, gorgeous. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, maybe you're just seeing things the wrong way. There's no disputing the fact that you're beautiful. You are. Thank you very much, my prince. Thank you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> prince Uche, uh, I am delighted to note that your wife to be has bid you a rousing and warm welcome. Um, it is left for the maids to do their job. Yes. Yes, Father. Yes. Let the maids do their job. Serve the prince. And of course, we serve ourselves. You are a graduate of sociology from the prestigious Harvard University. With a distinction, my prince. Don't forget to add. That's interesting. Thank you. Tell me. Tell me you don't see anything wrong with this archaic and mundane 
marriage arrangements. What do you mean by that? In this modern time, after all the exposure you've gotten from studying abroad, are you telling me you don't see anything wrong with this marriage arrangement? You still haven't said anything to my understanding. <laughs> what do you mean? Tell me, apart from pictures, have you ever seen me or met me anywhere in the world before? No. What is this all about? How can two perfect strangers be made to marry each other just because of some stupid and unreasonable ordinance? Oh, uh, now I see where you are coming from. Mm. But I'll tell you this for free, my prince. We shouldn't let education and exposure deny us our culture. We should be promoting it instead. This is our heritage. We should uplift it and not castigate it. I see. <laughs> well. So, who was that girl that was ahead of the procession when you came to greet me? Who exactly are you talking about? The maiden. The one that was directly in front of you. Excuse me. Princess. Why he is acting so unhappy and weird? I know. You know? Yes, mother, I do. It's Adese. Yes. Adese cast a spell on him. Who is Adese? Oh, father, don't sound like you don't know who I am talking about. I'm talking about the daughter of that pauper, your late brother's daughter. <laughs> How did you come to this hasty conclusion? Oh, Father, come on. When we stepped out, I mean to greet my husband to be, he had his focus only on a daisy. What? How is that supposed to be, Father? Take a good look at me. Don't I look good? You do. And he kept looking at that little nitri that looks like a squirrel who escaped from the zoo. Monkey. Father, a monkey for that yes. matter, and left the princess, his wife to be. How do you explain that? Uh, huh. Really? Mother, really? A few minutes ago when we were taking a walk, mm. he, he, he started talking about why I felt so comfortable with this arrangement, to the point that he called our custom a cake and mundane. What? Uh -huh. Yes, father. And then he started asking about her again. Huh. No. No, no, no. This is not ordinary, Mother. No. Yes. Because I don't see how a man who came to this palace all of a sudden changes his mind and starts asking about that little rat. She did something. Yes. Mother, she did something. I am certain she did something. Okay, please. Yes. You have to do something. Please. Mm. Now my daughter. Father. My daughter. Father. My darling daughter. Father. My adorable daughter. Oh. Now come on. Now. So sorry. No. No. Yeah. Now, now, brighten up. Brighten up. Brighten up. Brighten up. Now that's better. Now, I want you to pretend that all of that never happened. Yes, please. You understand? Please. Look at your father. Mm -hmm. Your father is on top of the situation. Good. Can I show you that? Good. Okay? Okay, father. Okay? okay. Yes. Yeah. Good. Please calm down. Now, okay. let's go back yes. there. It's they are waiting. Right. Okay? Right. Come on, just. 
you, okay? Come on, come on. I just want you to do some touch about trying. Come on, come on. Prince Uche, I believe you may have to go back to your kingdom and to your father, the king. You have come and you've seen us. You have also seen the great princess of this kingdom, your bride-to-be. Our next discussion is going to be about the marriage rights proper. That's assuming there will be a marriage. Your Majesty, we have heard what you said. Be rest assured that the next time we are visiting your palace, it must be about the marriage proper. As you can see, the prince is very happy and excited about your hospitality. He will go back and have a word with his father, just like you advised. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You can do all you wish to do in this world. You don't have the final say. My king. You can manipulate My king. everything you see in this world. Now do you get the final say in this world? Really, what, what the hell was that all about, Charlie? Why did you have to keep interrupting me? Why did you get, have to keep speaking for me like, like I'm a child? Like I can't have any thoughts of my own? I don't have my op own opinion? I can't speak for myself? Your father sent me there for a reason. It is not possible for me to just sit back and watch you ruin everything that he stands for. Whatever the reason you think you were sent there for is useless if you're not there to protect me, if you're not there to defend my decisions, okay? I'm the principal. You were there just to accompany me, not to be a chaperone, not to speak for me, okay? I could speak for myself. I could have said whatever it is I wanted to say by myself. I didn't need you speaking for me. Look. The only reason why I am there is to guide you not to go astray. I mean, how can I sit back there and, and then watch you say those unguarded words to the king? Your father is going to hold me responsible for anything that happens there today. Hold you responsible, I hear you say. You heard me right. How can my father hold you responsible for my actions? What is wrong with everyone? You don't seem to understand. I don't, don't need to understand anything. Okay? That was really, really unnecessary. I, 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 was, I was totally embarrassed. I couldn't just say anything without you interrupting.
not with you. Open your mouth and say something. Say the truth before I slap the living daylight out of you. I don't know what you're talking about, my princess. I want you to tell me the truth. And if you say the truth, I will forgive you. Yes, I will tell you the truth. Good. Go ahead. Did you or did you not cast a spell on the visiting prince? Ah, I did not cast a spell. Oh. I, do, I do not have to cast a spell on someone. Okay, how am I supposed to cast a spell on somebody I don't know? I've never seen the prince. I'm, I swear, I've never seen him before. That was, today was the first time I saw him. Shut, shut, just shut the hell up! Your Highness, how can I cast a spell on someone I've never seen before? Shut up, I Oh, now you want to play smart. You think you know everything. Answering a question with another question. See, if I was you, eh? If I slap you, that's the truth. I did not cast a spell on him. What do you mean by that nonsense? What do you mean you didn't cast a spell on him? A young man who came to see me, the gorgeous princess of Umozome, started hating me when he saw you. To the extent he kept asking who the girl is. Someone who drove kilometers all the way from his village to come see me. No one wants to know more about you than me, the princess. And you say you did not cast a spell on him? Start talking now, else I will run into your spirits. Now! Well, how am I supposed to know? Yeah, you know, yeah, when he came. He was here yeah, when I came inside. Yeah, he started looking at me. You not covered me. Two of us were not turning up and down. You were turning, I was turning. You were looking at me. Shut up! Hey, hey. Uh, uh, it's enough. I said you can lie. I say enough! Ah. Father, I said it's enough. Come on. I will deal with this issue myself, my own way. Let the maid be. Now I want you out of here. All of you, leave. Leave. He didn't hide his non-interest in the whole marriage arrangement to the extent that the king and his whole entire household took notice. Although I tried putting everything under control, at least the king was happy when we left. I trust you no doubt. But what exactly is wrong with my son? Why is it so difficult? He even fought with me on our way back, but I had to do my job. Honestly, I'm not happy with the way my son is going about his marriage. What is, what is wrong with him? Why, why, why is he trying to frustrate me? Does he know what we stand to lose as a kingdom if we break away from this age-long marriage ordinance with the people of Uzwami Kingdom? Your Majesty, you have to make out time to explain things to him. Oh, but I've tried. I'm doing that already. Have I not tried enough? Yes, Your Majesty. But more effort is required. He is your son, your heir. Okay, I can't get you. Okay, man. You are the only man who inherited the double legacies of the ancient monarchs. I salute you. Your son is here. I am sure he is there with you now. Child does not allow the lampstick placed in his hands to extinguish 
as a mother and those were men have gone a long way history cannot fully tell. I hope you and your son I'm not going to end it all. I really hope so. Okaka, I really hope so. Listen, I perfectly understand everything you've said. Yes. That child would not be alive and watch the candlestick run out of fire. The history of Ezemanzi and the Zwami kingdom will never be rewritten in my own time. Just be rest assured that I am in charge. Oh yes, please extend my greetings to your royal family. Thank you. Shelly! Shelly! Majesty. Go and fetch that boy from me. Yes, Your Majesty. Now, there is something I want to make very clear to you. I did not choose to be a king or a father over you. Nature did. You did not choose to be a prince under me. Same nature did. This same nature has made many other choices that neither you nor I have control over. If we accept nature's choice of making us royalty, we should be able to accept the same responsibilities that come with that royalty. Do not think that I will sit down and watch you ruin the reputation of this great royal name. Let us pretend that whatever that happened today never happened. Our next visit to the palace of Igwe Izekwechi is to finalize the marriage arrangement between you and his daughter. Yes. Except you are no longer ready to be a prince in this kingdom. But, father... No, no birds! I did not bring you out here to negotiate a deal. I've made my point, and as far as I am concerned, this meeting is over. Why, father? Why? Why must you treat me like a child? I'm not a toy. I'm not a little boy. I have a mind of my own and I have a life of my own. You have no life of your own except the one I give you. And like I said, this meeting is over. Say the nonsense that brought you to my room and make sure you get the hell out immediately you are done. I just want to let you know that I would never do anything to hurt you. Yes, I admit it. I am not happy that my birthright was taken away from me. But that 
is not enough reason for me to wish you bad. I have never seen the prince. I don't know anything about him. I am happy that you're getting married to the prince. I know had it, had it been my parents were alive, I would have been the person to get married to him. I was upset at first, but I understand such is life. You reek of jealousy. You reek of anger. You are nothing but a low life papa. Ah! You think your birth rights was actually taken away from you? The gods who are so wise took it away from your father and gave it to mine because they know he deserves it. You do not know my father. I would hit you so hard if you talk back at me again. Now get your little self out of my room. Little monster, raised by parents who knows nothing. That is why your parents died without achieving anything. They died the same way. That little nitwit actually confirmed to me that she is jealous of my position as the head princess of this land. Can you beat that? Mm. Oh. I seriously... Seriously, father. She even had the guts to say it to my face. What effrontery? Oh, oh. And you know the latest? Father, she leaves this palace at will. She goes out early and comes back quite late. Sneaking out, I mean. And when you ask her where she's gone to, she doesn't have anything meaningful to say. As far as I'm concerned, Father, this palace is her only home. My question is, where exactly does she go to? You need to talk to her, Father. You need to start asking her questions. Father! My daughter, I've told you time without number to leave this matter to me. Are you forgetting I'm your father? Are you forgetting who your father is? Are you? Mm. <clears throat> if I tell you what I did, to be where I am today, you will never ever have to worry yourself. You will never worry your handsome face, your handsome, wholesome head. Hmm. Are you riding with me? I am riding with you, Father. Good. Listen, the prince of whom is a mazi does not have a choice in this matter. He must marry you. Abat also a go mile. Hmm? Mm -hmm. This was enshrined way, way back as part of the tradition. So he must do it. Eh? Obata Ochiazo. As for this, her father lost his throne, his seat to me, in much the same way as Adese lost being the princess to you, my dear. So, you don't need to bother your head. You don't have a rival. She is the least of your rival. You do not even have a rival. Stop bothering with her. Don't bequeath the kind of attention you're diverting to her. No, it's not called for. Okay? It's not. It's not in any it's not. way. It's not. In fact, any day you see her as you're passing, should walk like this. Mm. Mm. In fact, you can even test out also. Mm. Mm. 
you are your father's daughter. Yes. <laughs> I don't regret having you as my father. Truly, father, that man actually belongs to me. Take a look at it, father. We suit each other. He is short. Yeah. I am tall. That's right. Yeah, he, we're both fair in complexion. I can't imagine that he would have wide nose Why? having something to do with that young man. We act together, father. Just just the two of us. We look good together. Don't you think so, father? You perfect man. <laughs> Thank you, father. Now I feel better. Why is my father treating me this way? Why is he bent on this royal ordinance without considering my feelings, my happiness? Why? What do I do now? Because I can't imagine myself getting married to that arrogant, crazy princess. But wait a minute. Who is that maiden that came before her? There is something very special about her that I must find out. That girl is not just an ordinary maiden. No, she's not. There's something sacred, something quite special about her. I may not be able to place a finger on it, but I can feel it deep down in my spirit that she's a special being.
Mboku. Mboku. Hmm? Mboku is where we Come and open the gate for me. Good now. Come and open the gate for me. Eh? Is it a order or, or waiting? My friend, where are you going? I don't understand. Who are you to question me? When did this one start? Will you come and open the gate for me? Hey, 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 see, see, don't shout at me. Don't shout, don't even try it. See, you are a maid. I'm a gate man. We are in the same level. The last time I checked, you know the presence of this kingdom. Don't shout at me. You don't blame me. It's the poverty that has affected your brain that I blame. Mm. Pan White Tapa. Mm. Open I, the gate. I agree. Better you be going and be coming. Hmm? Look at his face cap. Every time he will not come be here, looking like a barman. It's okay, oh. eh? I will not open this gate for you if you talk too much. Father, mother, I'm here again. I know you can hear me. The amount of pain and mockery I am subjected to is something I can no longer handle. The abuse, the insults, They are too much for me, Father. I know that if you were here, this would not have happened. But no, you two left me in this wicked world. If you were here, I would not be treated like a slave in my own father's palace. I am here to tell you people that you two should do something. Do something now before I lose my mind and come to join you there. I'm telling you now, oh, do something now. Oh. I'm already losing my mind. Do something now. Oh. Do something now. Oh. I said it, Father. I said it. When I made mention that that idiot, that little nitwit is diabolic, nobody believed me. You all thought I was just ranting. Have I not been vindicated? Take a look at it, Father. It's right there in front of you. When did she leave the palace? This morning, this very morning. And that's how she leaves the palace every day. I had to send him to trail her. Voila! She went to that bush, that same bush, to that dirty, sacred tree. Can you believe it? Right under my roof. Right under your roof. Just right under your roof, Father. Wait a minute. Could this be some... Modern day Photoshop? No, Your Majesty. There are pictures I took with my phone. No filter, no photo editing. Your Majesty. Hmm. <sighs> it's unbelievable. Very unbelievable. But, Father, take a look at it. This girl must be diabolic. This girl, Nako, on a maven. I'm telling you, Father, she's a witch. Come on. Where is, where is this? Inside Epa Forest. I was following her, but she didn't know that I was following her. Till we got to the forest. I saw her tie clothes around the tree. Chineke? Yes, Your Highness. I also saw some other materials before she started talking to the tree. Talk? Hey! Are you talking to a tree? Hey! This girl wonder more fool. She is a baby witch. A witch. Is she back in this palace? Not yet, Your Highness. Hmm. 
All right. I want to see her directly she returns. Yes, Your Highness. Like immediately she comes back. Immediately. There's no problem. Get away. Who keeps this? Father, you see what I've been saying? That girl is a witch. Who who was this from? Who? To the, the guard, of course. I'll keep it. Yes, you need to, Father, for evidence. I'll because we can't it. just keep talking and talking without evidence. Hi! Evidence. How? How? Hey, hey, hey! I'm sure she wants to kill you, Father. And kill me. And oh, kill me. Oh, 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 because I said it. I kept saying that this girl is diabolical, but none of you believed me. You all thought I was talking nonsense. Can you see it? This is it. So where did she learn this high level of sorcery from? Eh? Who taught her? Mom, you're asking me, who am I supposed to ask? I don't understand why you're asking me that question. I wouldn't know. I don't know. What did your father say? Well, Father is as surprised as you are. But I would advise something needs to be done about that girl mother. Of course. She's a witch. A witch! Hmm. Hmm. Uh -uh. Imagine. Huh? Hmm. Can't even look at the pictures. See you that time. Where are you going to? You were busy. You were busy it's calling me names. This one down, down. Calling me names. Is that why you're now you have landed like yourself it? into a big trouble. Which trouble is that? See, no, no, see, just go straight to the king's chamber. He's waiting for you there. You are in big problem, big one. Waiting for me. The king is waiting for me. You are still asking me a question. What did he say I did? Okay, you are still asking me a question. Did this did they say I did anything bad? No, I don't know that one. Just see what you just turn, turn, turn like this. Face that side. Run and go inside straight before the king will start looking for you. You are a big problem, a big one. Did the king tell you what I did? You are seeing asking me more questions. When you are calling me names, you go inside, go and meet the king. Sorry, I'm not calling you names. He will come out now. Go inside. Was, was the king angry? Was he shouting when he told you? You have seen that picture? Good. Whose picture is it? It's my picture that is inside the phone. Eh? You? Hmm. This is me that is inside the phone. You? Yes, you have this. Oh. So you've started appearing inside a phone. I see. Before long now, You'll start appearing in other phones. And television. And television. Yes. And people will be watching you. And that's what you want, right? Eh? Eh? Mm, okay, now tell me. Look at that picture again. Tell me. Where is that place? What were you doing at the point in time that picture was taken? I was not doing anything, nothing. Oh, shut the hell up before I shut that gutter you call a mouth. What do you mean you were doing nothing? Oh, you listen to me and listen good. If you don't say the truth, I swear by the demons who created you. 
I will strangle you. Now speak! Allow your father handle this situation. You, you need to see the way my heart is burning right now. I understand. I understand. Please calm down. Oh, Butu. Mother, stop it. Stop telling me to Butu. Stop it. Adeze, Adeze, now listen to me. Mm -hmm. Answer the question from the king. Answer him. All right. I will ask again. For the last time. Look at that picture. An answer. One. Where is that place? Then, what were you doing in that place at the point in time that picture was taken? Your Highness, it's, it's a forest in Ipa. Ipa forest. I was not doing anything serious at all. No. Yes, it was something. So it's not a serious something. It what? Forest. Did you hear that? It yes. back. It back forest. Did you hear that? <coughs> ah. She has started visiting the forest. I see. Ah, all right. What's that unserious thing you were doing there? Your Highness, as I told you, it's something not serious. It's a communication, a spiritual communication between me and the dead. No, it's not a bad communication. It's me that created the communication. It's not the wait, wait, wait. You now talk to the dead? No, it's not them that started it. It's me that started the communication. It's not you. Um. <laughs> there are things I'm not supposed to hear. Hmm. See. See. Um, this girl is supposed to be locked up in the cell, the palace cell. So get the guards to bang her inside the palace cell until I decide on what to do with her. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, my friends. Um, <clears throat> my name is Princess Oma, the ever gorgeous, beautiful Princess Oma, the one you you have come to see. <laughs> 